Hi everybody, this is Ryan Schumacher for the week one discussion board. Um, a little bit about myself, um, my background, I graduated from Elizabethtown College in 2017. Um, I just finished my fourth year of teaching, so I'm going into my fifth year um, at Palmyra Area Middle School. We start on the 30th and I taught one year in Reading and then um, in my current situation, I'm teaching algebra and pre-algebra in eighth grade. Um, a little bit more about myself at um, Palmyra. I'm part of our student assistant program um, that I really enjoy working on. It focuses a lot on the trauma-based practices, which are definitely um, a part of not only our school, but I'm sure many schools and around the country. Um, and I'm hoping to get into coaching shortly. Um, I just kind of settled into a, my own little apartment here um, in Marietta with my fiance. A little bit about myself. I do live a very active lifestyle. I like being outdoors and working out. Um, I'm very family oriented. You can kind of see in those pictures a lot of traveling. Picture right here is from um, Sedona, Arizona, playing a little foot golf. So it's soccer on the golf course, which is very interesting. And then this photo is from when I took a family vacation to the Cayman Islands. Um, but probably the biggest thing that I always look back on is that teaching wasn't my first choice, um, but I knew that. When I went to college, I wanted to do it, and I just um, took me a couple weeks to kind of get my my feet um, situated to where I wanted to be. Continuing that, um, probably the biggest thing that's coming up for me is that I'm getting married this October, so it's been a very busy summer getting everything together, um, but I'm very excited to have that as my next big thing in my life. Um, in terms of the concentration, I am enrolled in the STEM route. Um, and this will be my final course. I will graduate in December um, with my master's. So I'm very excited for that. In terms of the most difficult stages um, from our chapter one reading, um, I figured for myself, from my past experiences with action research when I was an undergrad, um, was the first stage to identify an area of focus. Um, I've always struggled, I think, just kind of defining what I want to do um, what, you know, is best suitable for my students. Um, you know, the literature review process, you know, finding the articles and everything wasn't as much of an issue, but really just kind of coming up with a general idea of what do I want to do? You know, what, what do I see um, suitable for not only my own teaching career, but what's best for maybe my district and also my, my students in mind. I think collecting the data, um, you know, analyzing, it, interpreting it, and then kind of you know, um, sharing it out isn't as difficult as the first area because it's always just kind of getting your feet wet, getting into the, the actual process is the most difficult. Um, making action research a daily teaching practice. I know our book talked about there's an analogy and how, you know, as a teacher, you know, we plan, we execute our lesson plans, you know, we reflect on everything. Um, and then we adapt for, you know, the next day. And I thought that kind of resonated pretty clearly with how action research kind of follows that path. Um, but it, it makes it feel like there is a lot more to go on to what we're already doing as a teacher. So the two things that I found um, that, that kind of made me think were time and energy. Do I have to put more time into this? Do I have to spend more, you know, time in school, outside of school? How much more is needed for that? And then the other one I, I thought about a little bit was the burden of others. Um, not everybody, um, you know, enjoys doing action research and kind of doing things that might be best for not only their district, but their students. And I know that kind of sounds maybe a little bit selfish in, in, in some ways, but um, I know that plenty of people have things going on. And I think that when I reached out to some colleagues about certain things, um, you know, I wouldn't want to put more pressure on them to be doing other things that maybe they don't want to do. And that's just something that I had kind of thought about in making action research part of the daily teaching practice. Um, in terms of question three, I resonated a little bit more with story one. I think that the, the individual who, or individual teacher that was kind of sharing her ideas of how she did action research was pretty eye-opening. I think she, she seemed to do a really good job of it. Um, the first thing that kind of stuck out to me was the community of learners, and that's something that I always um, I kind of preach in my in my classroom. You know, making sure that students understand that you know what we're doing 
is not just for the individual, but for everybody um, together. So I think that's something that kind of goes back to question two almost, where the burden of others, if you can kind of find individuals that are you can research together and you kind of create that environment where you know people kind of have that same need you kind of are able to then share that that commonality um, the second thing that kind of stuck out to me was the how powerful it is to listen to our students she did a lot of research and a lot of um, surveys with her students and I think that that was something that really kind of hit me and how important that the student aspect is in action research um, and then lastly, it kind of shapes and refines our own teaching strategy. So I think that being reflective is very important in teaching and that um, if we don't do it, you know, we're not doing ourselves any justice and we're not doing our students any justice at the same time. And then lastly, my concerns, again, defining that issue, how, what's the best way to go about it? Am I thinking about it too much? You know, not just some broad term. Um, or some broad idea, you know, what is needed in maybe my district. And that's where one thing I definitely want to focus on. And then the reaction of colleagues, you know, does everyone have that same feeling that you do? Um, you know, is someone gonna criticize you for something that you did? And maybe it's just something that I need to think about myself, but I definitely want to make sure that I'm doing what's best, not only for myself, but sharing it out with colleagues that care about it. And, you know, kind of also kind of think about what their opinions are in any case. But I'm really excited and interested to kind of see how this class goes, you know, and see what I can do in my own teaching philosophy um, in this class. So thanks.